Hi y'all, John Daniels from the Daniels Woodland Show. Make sure you check out this week's episode. We're down to the wire, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're running out of time, the show opens in just a couple hours. Make sure you check it out. Today is the day where we're hoping just everything comes together. This is frosting on the cake day. But today we're gonna be running around uh, decorating things. John and Andy and those guys are gonna be making the cabin look awesome. CJ and I are doing a lot of programming and configuring where we're just dialing in all these shows so they look fun and exciting um, and uh, just kind of ironing out all of the wrinkles. So by the end of today, if everything goes good, it's going to be showtime, baby. Railing's up. Now we're up to the races to put a water wheel together. So, bam. I thought I'd hang up my pig. Boris. This is Boris. Hey guys. Can I have everybody down here for a minute? We got all the stuff sticking off the side of the house now. Yeah. So we can't come over the top and slide down. Oh, uh, we gotta move we'll it over and put it on. Pick it up. Slide pick it up. the whole pack? thing up. You no, know, we'll just pick the whole thing up. Alright, as you can see, the water wheel's spinning. Jarvis did a great, great job. I think we're done with the forklift operations right now. Almost looks professional. That's got to be an inline flow control, Mark. On any big job, you end up at the final stages of it, and you create a punch list so that you can get everybody that's around you or your whole team working on different things, so you don't have to direct everybody. So I created a punch list every time, and the punch list just kind of check it all off, and once the punch list is done, it's beer 30. So right now, Mark's trying to get water to pump down the flumes. It's supposed to come out of the pipeway up there, run down the flumes, and spin the water wheel. There ain't nothing working. I got this pump won't push the water up to the 26 feet that I'm looking for. I got a 50 foot hose on it, and it won't push it up to the, to the tank. Um, apparently nobody checked the pump. And we need to go like 26 vertical push on our water and we're only getting like 16 which means that my water flumes aren't working correctly and i'm madder than a wet cat right now we want our sign to, to give us the optimum exposure so i'm just trying to figure out what the heck is optimum um, i can't put it exactly where i want it because the sign's only allowed to go up so high at the show and if we put it right where I want it, there's our stuff is so high that the sign's gonna run into it. So we have to figure all that out. So I'm gonna we'll walk around the booth and pretend I'm a, I'm a show buyer attendee and see if I can find myself. It needs to be center of this booth this way, center of the booth this way. Done. Cool. That's where I point it is, right? And that's where we're in the thing and just go that way is so get behind the moose and buffalo pair of it. I wouldn't get behind the moose and buffalo though, I'd go center down that wall or somewhere real close to the wall, right above the tree. Basically, is where it needs to go. Because then you can get a spotlight. Put a spotlight right there, right there. Yep, and then the spotlight behind that parapet. Boom, it's lit from both sides. Now we're me and Johnny are running the flumes, trying to get the water to the water wheel, so it looks like a water wheel, instead of just a wheel. Here we are, it's, it's uh, the afternoon, Monday afternoon. The show starts tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Um, I think everything is pretty much together. It's, everything's got a pulse. All the lights are on, all the sounds are being heard, so this is all good. That's that. Man, we made it. Cabin's all built, and Ron's got a shooting gallery firing on all eight cylinders. The show's gonna open right now. I'm gonna go change my clothes. So here we are, opening day of the show, and this is what it all comes down to. This is what we've been working for the last few months really hard. The booths look really great. Um, we're just doing some fine tuning, just the lights, just the radio, a little bit of vacuum cleaner, straighten up the old necktie, and then we'll see what people think. We've outdone ourselves again this year. 
Um, the Daniels Woodland crew has come through 100% and we are ready to rock and roll and sell you some stuff.